Hey, what's up? This is Merc Music. Hello, this is Merc Music. What's up, guys? 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 This is Merc Music. Hey, guys, Merc Music here. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music, and welcome to April 22nd, 2019, the 10 year anniversary of my YouTube channel, Merc Music. It's time to get extremely nostalgic and just start crying, dude. <laughs> Nah, but seriously, thank you guys so much for all of the amazing support over the last 10 years. Over the last 10 years, I have changed a lot, my content has changed a lot, but I know this. When I first made my YouTube channel back in 2009, I know that I was incredibly passionate about wanting to make gaming videos and guitar videos. I was falling in love with the stuff I was watching on YouTube at the time. Between the guitar videos I was seeing and between the gaming videos that I was just seeing for the very first time, it was mind-blowing. And I knew at that time I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to be contributing to that community. So I made some guitar videos. They weren't the best at the time, but I wanted to do it anyway. And I was making gaming videos at the time too, and I knew they weren't that good, but I wanted to try. No matter how critical I was going to be of myself or how critical other people were going to be, I was going to do it no matter what. And thanks to you guys and your continued support over all of the years, you have made this dream of mine possible. No matter how many hours I would pour into making these videos, if I didn't have the community to support me, it wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't exist. So thank you guys so much for all of your support over all of these years. Whether you've somehow managed to stay subscribed for 10 years or if you just subscribed yesterday, whether you like and comment on every video and you have notifications turned on, or if you're just here to tell me that I'm a weird freak of nature, <laughs> I thank every single one of you for coming back to my channel and supporting what I do. It's amazing. So you're probably sitting there wondering, where are you little boogs bugler? What are you going to be do it for your 10 year special. It better be incredible. Calm down, Mel. Jeez, don't put so much pressure on me. I do have some stuff planned for my 10 year anniversary on YouTube, which I think you guys will find pretty dope. If you didn't happen to notice this already, then I don't know how you missed it. But today I'm wearing the U Bunk shirt. This is personally one of my favorite pieces of merch that I came up with, and a lot of you guys loved it as well. But last year I moved over to Teespring and I did completely new designs, and I did not carry over the U Bung design until now. I'm gonna need a shirt change. Much better. I'm very excited to finally be able to announce to you guys the U Bung 10 year anniversary special. As you guys can see here, I brought back the U Bung logo, but this one is a limited edition 10 year anniversary logo. As I'm sure you can see it's completely gold, which is just so cool. I had to work with Teespring to specially make this design and they made this possible and it looks incredible. I'm so happy with how this turned out. So if you guys would like to check out the limited edition 10 year anniversary U-Bung merch, I'll have a link in the description. There's black and white t-shirts, black and white hoodies, and it looks so damn good. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I think I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to cry again. <laughs> Okay, that's enough tears. No more crying in this video. But again, this U-Bung design, this is going to be a limited edition. It's only gonna be available to purchase until the end of April and then it's gonna be discontinued. So guys, make sure to bung the boost and get the U-Bung merch before it's gone forever. But I'm not making this video to just thank you guys for your support over all of the years and also announce some new merch. With this video, I actually wanted to take a trip down memory lane and react to my old videos. But in a more unique way, I, I think. I have single-handedly picked my most favorite videos from each year that I've done YouTube. And those are gonna be the videos that I react to today. 2009. It was kind of hard to choose for 2009. It was between this video and the Chief Andy video, which you guys have seen a couple times. If you haven't seen the Chief Andy video by now, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I'll explain this Pro Tools video after we watch how terrible it is. Here we go. Hey, this is Merc Music, and just, this just is basic... Acknowledge that intro. This was 2009, Eric. Hey, guys, this is Merc Music. I sound like I'm doing this video at four in the morning. <laughs> the amount of enthusiasm in that video is just, it's too high for me. 2009, Pro Eric Tools was instructions just... And how to use Pro Tools. It's very simple, even though- This is how to use Pro Tools. I'm an excellent tutorial maker, guys. Subscribe to my grandma. There's a lot of stuff, but... I'm gonna explain some of the easy things. You're not gonna explain anything, no. I really just wanted to react to this video to show you guys how far the content has come. I don't think anyone truly wants to see 2009 Eric anymore. Cause that dude was filming his laptop screen with his iPhone at 360p quality while barely making enough sounds to actually have the microphone capture anything. Times have definitely changed. 2010. Oh my God. Even just the actual first screen. I actually think I've reacted to both of the videos that I picked for 2010. It's the MW2 intervention montage and MW2 victory songs on guitar. I went with the victory songs on guitar. Just, you have to watch this. Look at that intro screen. At least I'm at 720p now. Look at that. We got the quality increase, but I... <sighs> Oh my god. I actually created these backgrounds in a program called GIMP. It was so bad. God, they, they, they look so terrible. I thought they were the coolest things at the time, like honestly. And on top of that, I didn't even have any paid editing software, so I used this free software called AVS Video Editor. And I only had the trial, so I left this watermark in the middle. Oh, just keep going. Here we are. Oh, we got an ad. Right, close it. <laughs> I am going to give myself some credit here. From 2009 to 2010, at least I was trying. <laughs> I mean, not that I wasn't trying in 2009, but 2010, you could see the increase of quality. I think I was using my dad's camcorder at the time to be able to record this. I don't know if I had my own, but I went from 360p to 720p, which is pretty good. I also started throwing up some graphics on the screen. And I think in 2010, I had this laptop behind me and I actually had some editing software. So that is a step up. I want to pull up the intervention montage too. I did change the thumbnail of this video over the years i have no regrets but man if you want if you want to talk about production quality i made these graphics i made this music okay maybe i'm not so proud to admit that but <laughs> and i was recording my tv with the camera at least the beat goes hard though
Oh yeah, killing people on the attack insertions. Good job, Eric. Basically, any kill I got was a clip back then. <laughs> Two headshots in a row. Oh my god. Oh, quack skull. Okay, that's enough of that. 2011. You guys will see a pattern here. I have a very hard time actually picking out one favorite video from each year. For 2011, it has to be the Modern Warfare 2 World's Fastest Intervention Nuke. And I also want to show you guys this music video that I made that really didn't get too much traction, but I'll show it after this. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music, and I'd just like to thank you guys no, for not. 60 likes. That is not Merc Music. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music. I'm still very timid. Two years later, I still can't do a commentary. <laughs> but for the world's fastest intervention nuke on Modern Warfare 2, I was trying really hard to make sure it was a perfect commentary. And at the time, I thought it was perfect, but it's really not that good. However, the gameplay is pretty awesome, and it is the world's fastest intervention nuke with killstreaks. So yeah, I was pretty happy about this video. Yep, it's unlisted. So apparently, this video isn't public, but I will have it linked in the description if you want to watch it. I think I actually made this video unlisted because I was so embarrassed with how bad it is. So yeah, we're going to watch it today. Here we go. Jungle by Merc Music. We're actually going to watch the whole thing. Church near me. Stop it. So I had this whole idea of like creating a music video with um, like multiple perspectives of like percussion on guitar with the acoustic and then the actual playing. thing almost like not acapella I guess although I don't know I'll see if I can explain it better once it's done playing you just have you have to hear the end the ending is so ridiculous I recorded myself saying we as humans are trapped and played it in reverse. Bro, that was so deep. I'm drowning in quicksand right now. This isn't the worst thing ever. I am kind of embarrassed about it. The idea was to have a song where the guitar is doing all the parts. You know, it has like the percussion for the rhythm and it has a melody on top of it. It's just, I thought the idea was cool at the time. It's just the execution wasn't that great. That was 2011 Merc Music for you. 2012. I actually have three videos for 2012, but I don't want to go through all of them. But 2012 was the year of my first quad with every gun video. It was on Modern Warfare 3. It was my first Minecraft trolling video with the 11 year old fanboy. And it was the year of the Black Ops 1 gun game reactions video with Waka Trickshot. All of those videos ended up blowing up my channel over time. People just liked the quad with every gun idea that I had and they liked the reactions I was getting on Minecraft and on Call of Duty. So I did my best to try to continue those series for as long as I could. And I think out of all of those, we should probably react to the Waka Trickshot one. This video is timeless. Like even the first reaction. Fuck! Yes! Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you are. Golden gun, I'm getting my first golden gun. <laughs> that wasn't actually Waka Trickshot. It was someone else just from a different lobby being here. I use that for the intro, and then here's the actual game. And I think he's about to get knifed right about now. Oh my god! So the story behind this video is that I was trying to go for some reactions on Black Ops 1 gun game. And before this lobby, I was playing for about an hour. I was just about to give up. It was getting late. And then David Vonderhaar blessed me with this lobby and gave me Waka Trickshot. And this kid would not stop screaming. It was amazing. It is my all-time favorite gun game reaction video that I've ever made. And it was one of the first I ever made too. 2013. For 2013, I picked this video, Call of Duty World at War Banning a Hacking Troll. I'm not quite sure if this was the first one I did. I think it might have been. But back then, I loved being able to go back and play the older Call of Duty games, specifically Call of Duty 4 and World at War. And I was getting sick and tired of people cheating and ruining the experience on there. It was so frustrating. So I specifically made this video to single out a single hacker who was just making the game unplayable. And if I'm not mistaken, I think a couple years later, this player actually got banned. So here we go. This is the video. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music. And yesterday I was playing some Call of Duty World at War. And I 2013, Eric had his intros down. Well, that wasn't that bad. I think I ran into by far the biggest douchebag hacker I've ever seen on Call of Duty. Back then I was literally like, this dude's a douche. Here's his gamer tag. Go report him. I was savage back then. Look at me go. Odd mode to pull really high scores, like 111 and 0, and just stomp all over everyone, but it's another thing to actually just talk to those people and say that you're the best and that you're legit and everyone else sucks. So watch the entirety of yeah. this video and hopefully- that's why I really didn't like this person, you know? It's one thing for someone to cheat and just, you know, boost their KD, whatever, and they just kind of go about their way. But this person specifically rubbed me the wrong way because they were in game chat telling everyone that they're amazing, they're so good at the game. This is someone who's extremely lonely. I don't know any sane people who cheat and then brag about it. That's just, it's so lame. I hope this person is still enjoying being banned off of Xbox Live. 2014. 2014 was a great year because it's the year that I joined FaZe, but not really. It was actually the inception of FaZe Boost. So here we go. 
What's up, guys? This is <laughs> music here. Okay, I just want to acknowledge the fact that, like, Phase Boost was supposed to be so stupid that when you start out the video, you're not even talking, you're just here, like, you don't actually say anything, you're just that dumb. Anyway, let's restart. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Merc Music here, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I joined Phase, which- it wasn't actually phase boost yet. I was still playing it off like I was Merc Music, what? But yeah, the whole way that this started is that I was just messing around in photo booth and they have all these filters. And there's one that just kind of like sucks your face in and I thought I just looked like a stoner dude. I joined phase, which is like freaking crazy, right? <laughs> I've been doing the phase five challenge. For, yeah, he's doing uh, phase five. Like three years Doing then? phase five for and three I years. And I got in as a sniper. So this is going to be my first phase montage. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> That's why I was making a montage. Me? Here's phase boost's first mon- Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. I think I'm starting to understand it now. I introduced myself as Merc Music, but I put Phase Boost there as the player, so I joined as Phase Boost. And it looks really cool until, um... <laughs> yeah, literally this is just a meme video. It's just me playing the Quickscope Simulator game. And that's how Phase Boost was born. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> Bless me. Like, three years now? <laughs> oh my god, I can't do this. <laughs> I was cracking myself up at the end, oh my god. 2015. For 2015, there were a couple of choices that I had, but if I had to pick one, it's gonna be Merc Reacts to Merc Music reacting to Merc Music. If you didn't happen to know this, in 2015, a lot of reaction channels were blowing up. And for the most part, some of these channels were just straight up ripping other people's content. They weren't really doing anything too unique, and I wanted to cover this topic. Greetings, fellow YouTubians. It is I, Merc Music. And today, oh I'm going to be god. reacting to videos from Merc Music. Why did I you do find this? out which video I'm gonna steal today? <laughs> Let's watch this one. I'm technically now reacting to myself, reacting to myself. Oh my god, this is a reaction reception. Oh, I forgot to smoke my cocaine. I forgot to do my cocaine. No uh, way. Okay, Eric, from 2015. Oh my. So this is how it all started. It was Monday. I just got done editing a video. So I go out and. But what was really cool about this video at the time is that it was used in grade A under A's video about reaction channels. And when that happened, my channel blew up and took off in a way that I never thought was going to be possible. It brought me so many subscribers and extra views at the time. It was just mind blowing. And that wasn't even my intention at the time. It was just crazy. My channel was starting to blow up at a rate that I didn't necessarily want it to. I know it sounds weird to complain about growth, but I didn't feel like I actually earned that level of growth. It happened way too fast. I had never experienced anything like that. And it was just crazy. 2016. Now I'm not actually able to use the audio for this video, but this one in 2016 is my all time favorite video from the year. It was the Sound of Silence for Modern Warfare Remastered. If you guys somehow don't know this already, Call of Duty 4 was my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. It's what got me into gaming videos on YouTube, and I will always be grateful for that. And I truly just love this game. Call of Duty 4 it has such an exceptional campaign, such a great multiplayer. It just, it really did pave the future for what Call of Duty is today. And I wanted to make this video as a tribute because Raven was remastering Call of Duty 4 at the time. And I don't know, the Sound of Silence that was remixed by Disturbed, it just kind of fit, like, the campaign perfectly for me. I knew that this video was probably going to get a copyright claim, but I didn't care. I just wanted to make this project because I I felt so strongly about it. And I know it's gonna sound kind of lame, but this was actually a very emotional video for me to put together because I just love this game so much. I played the multiplayer so much, I think over multiple accounts, I had over a hundred days played on the multiplayer. I really don't have words for it. I don't know. And I think overall, it's one of my favorite videos I've ever worked on on my channel. 2017. In 2017, I had some really funny skit videos. I had the emoji movie video and I also had the COD World War II leaked trailer video. Those were both hilarious. But 2017 was actually kind of a tough year for me. 2017 is when the demonetization thing happened on YouTube and it hurt my channel very badly. I think it was roughly four months. I was wasn't getting paid for pretty much any of the new content I was making. It was all getting demonetized. I think roughly more than half of the videos on my channel were getting demonetized. I was getting hit hard. It was quite literally sucking the life out of me and my channel. I was losing my drive to actually do YouTube and YouTube was making it really hard for my channel to grow how it had before. It was basically the end of me just goofing around and saying and doing whatever I wanted to. I literally had to stop doing and saying some of the things that I was doing before. Otherwise my channel would have no chance of surviving today. And on top of that, in 2017, I lost my uncle to ALS. And after his funeral, I was playing the song 10 words by Joe Satriani. And that's the song that I associated with him. So I did this cover video as a tribute to my uncle. What was really tough about 2017 is that so much was starting to change and I just had to learn to accept that. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I was struggling a lot at this time, but I did my best to remain as hopeful and optimistic as possible. 2018. For 2018, I decided to pick my Always With Me, Always With You cover. This video is really cool for me because this was actually one of the first videos that I ever uploaded to YouTube and I had covered that in 2009. And nine years later, I wanted to redo the cover and make it as professional as I possibly could. And I dedicated that video to Karina because I play that song for her on guitar. And I just thought it was really cool because I do so many gaming videos and I don't really do as much guitar like I used to. So who knows, maybe I should start working on some more guitar stuff in the future. But don't worry, there's going to be tons of video games too. But yeah, that's going to bring us to 2019. Obviously, that's kind of a hard decision because it's only April so far. But my favorite video that I've worked on so far is A Day in the Life of Phase Boost. I had a blast recording this video and editing it later. It was just amazing. So here we go. Peace. Peace. Yeah. 
Boo! <laughs> I love this video so much. I had so much fun making it. But yeah, that was me reacting to my favorite videos from the last 10 years of making YouTube videos while trying to pick only one video for each year, which was actually really difficult. What's really important for me as far as it goes for making content is just trying to entertain you guys and have a fun time. Whether that's goofing around his face boost or screaming like a 12 year old as a Brayden or making a guitar video or just doing an average gaming video. I'm just here to have some fun, share those moments with you guys and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. As far as it goes for future plans, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and try to have as much fun as possible, come up with new ideas and try to innovate my content as much as I can and ultimately just do the best that I can. I first made my YouTube channel on April 22nd in 2009 because I loved watching videos on YouTube. Whether it was just funny random clips of stuff going on or if it was guitar videos or gaming videos, regardless of whatever I was watching, I just knew that I wanted to be a part of that and contribute to that community. And unless YouTube just explodes or something, I'm probably just going to keep making YouTube videos because I just love doing it. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this 10 year anniversary video. If you guys did and you're looking forward to another 10 years of YouTube videos, make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys later.